On July 11, 1914, the major league career of George Herman Ruth began, with Ruth pitching for the victory of the Red Sox over the Cleveland Naps. On that same day, it is said Ruth met his first wife, a 16-year-old waitress. Of course, Ruth is better known as Babe Ruth, but he was also often referred to as the Sultan of Swat or the Bambino. What you might not know is that his Yankee teammates usually called him Jidge. Great athletes and minor ones alike often have colorful nicknames, and baseball is especially good for nicknaming players. You had Sudden Sam McDowell, Rapid Robert Feller, The Rocket Roger Clemens, Whitey Ford, Dizzy and Daffy Dean, their brothers, Charlie Hustle Pete Rose, The Georgia Peach Ty Cobb, Stan the Man Musual, and The Iron Horse Lou Gehrig. Still playing is A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, but retired is Frank the Washington Monument, Howard. Hammer and Hank Aaron was given an appropriate nickname, and Joe the Yankee Clipper DiMaggio was given one that recognized his grace. Ted Williams was the Splendid Splinter, a reflection of his thin build. Leo the Lip de Rocher was, well, lippy. Yogi is not the real first name of the Yankees' great catcher and manager, Lawrence P. Barra, and Cy Young was really Denton True Young. True? Willie Mays was known as the Say Hey Kid because, you guessed it, he said hey. Sometimes nicknames have a country flair, such as pitchers Jim Catfish Hunter and Jim Mudcat Grant. For some reason, pitchers seem more prone to getting nicknames. As far as country names, Enos Country Slaughter is a case in point. Basketball players have some pretty unusual first names anyway, but still they come up with some cool nicknames as well. You had Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain, a.k.a. the Big Dipper. Shaquille O'Neal was called Optimus Prime after the giant Transformer. And of course you had Charles the Round Mound of Rebound Barkley. Carl the Mailman Malone always delivered. And the great Oscar Robertson was the Big O. Pistol Pete Maravich was known for being a gunner, one who shoots a lot and LeBron James is known simply as the King. Penny Hardaway sounds better than Anfernee, his real name, and World Be Free had more zip than Lloyd Free. Of course, changing his name to Meta World Peace did not make Ronald Artest Jr. play any better. Dollar Bill Bradley always struck me as a good nickname, while the hick from French Lick, Larry Bird, not so much. Hot Rod Hundley sounds much catchier, and Travis the Machine Grant sounds intimidating. Football gave us some catchy names such as Dandy Don Meredith, Jughead Taylor, Ironhead Hayward, and The Juice. Lou Graza, offensive tackle and kicker for the Browns, was known as The Toe for his kicking exploits. William Perry earned his nickname, The Refrigerator, for his immense bulk, and Mean Joe Green deserved his bellicose moniker. Another football name I always liked was Cannonball, Butler, the rugged running back for the Falcons. The Browns have Johnny Football, but despite his nickname, Mr. Manziel has not accomplished much in the pros as of yet. Daniel Colt McCoy also threw balls for the Browns, but not with much success. Broadway Joe Namath won a Super Bowl, so I guess he deserved a good nickname. What are some of your favorite sports nicknames? Please let us know in the comments to this video. And if you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines. Your viewership is much appreciated.